Hello everyone. By now I am sure everyone will be aware what is the importance of Google Earth in spatial studies. Google Earth enables you to access the remotest portion in the globe. Google Earth also gives you an option to save the image but however once you save the image it will be in JPEG format without the geographical latitude and longitude. The georeferenced image is mandatory for any spatial study so I'll teach you today how do we rectify or georeference the image that we download from Google Earth. This is the image, uh, th this is the portion that I'll be doing georeferencing. I will uh, just uh, briefly tell you how to save the image. Just go to file, you have save option and you can just click on save image. That will save image in the location that you want and I have done that and imported uh, image into our map. Since they are the same images, you will have common points. We will have to find the common points among uh, these uh, two images. However, using Aradas keyboard only option, you can do the georeferencing, which has already been taught to you in another tutorial, another video in the same tutorial. So here I'll be teaching a uh, method that I have designed on my own using the available resources in ArcMap. So let's find three common points. Here there is a point. Looks like uh, some structure. I'll take the edge of this one. And uh, let me take the second part as this edge and the third one as uh, this road intersection. However, it is always advisable that you do more than three points uh, for a better accuracy. Here for the illustration purpose, I'll be doing only three and also better select better GCPs. You can uh, select the intersection of the roads or very sharp features for the accurate georeferencing. Let's go to Google Earth now and you have to convert these degree minutes and seconds into decimal degrees because that is the format that uh, our map understands. So just keep your cursor over here and you will have the latitude and longitude of that particular portion here displayed. So let's see what e what should be x. Let me just tell you this will be your x and this will be your y. Northing will be y and easting will be x. So let's uh, just uh, see that and it is 1254-2866. You can convert it on your own. It is uh, pretty simple because it is just a conversion from uh, 100 to 60. You have some ready-made formula but I am using uh, some uh, uh, online tool that is available uh, here but you will get uh, a lot of tools uh, like this online you can just search over Google and get it I'm doing it just for the sake of simplicity otherwise you can do this on your own let me go and see what is that point that is uh, 1254 2850 1254 it will be here because I have already told you easting is uh, x and northing is y. 12. Similarly, let's uh, see what is uh, the value for x. It is 77, 34, 22, 21. 70 Just verify that your points are correct and click convert to decimal and uh, copy the x value and go to arc map here you have an option to plot x and y just remove that image 
because that is not important now once you have selected the GCPs just click on that and put what is your X and copy the Y and put what is your Y and press enter here is your point but it will not be displayed as it is just click on this point it adds that particular point and you have the point one number one point now we'll go to the second point which is this this is 1253 1253 2859 20. and we'll go for longitude nav that is 7735 7735 3805 you can just convert them into decimal again copy them and add another points in uh, another point in arc map this adds another point and we'll go for the third and the last point however you can go for a higher number of points for better accuracy this should be our third point that is 1254 1254 22 29 and 7735 35 4193 again just convert them and plot the third point here in arc map just add X and Y and click the third point now you have three points here zoom in till you can distinguish them as three different points now you have three different points now you can do the same method that we have adopted for rectifying in arc map let me just explain just display the Google Earth it won't come here because that is not georeferenced go to georeferencing tool and click on fit to display that will bring your image here now you have to fit these this image into these points let's just zoom into that area and you have to zoom into a great extent for higher accuracy let me zoom into this level and make sure that this is the image that has been selected since here is the only one image you have that by default but you have say three four images you make sure that you have selected the image that you want to rectify just click here and click on this point which is the first point and your image will shift there and move your image and this is the second point and here is the road intersection that we were talking about so click on that and click on this you have your image sitting properly because third point has by default came to that point because you have put these two points properly but however this is a vague way of doing uh, uh, geo referencing you can do still you know you can have more points and higher zooming capabilities select better gcps which are road intersections or some very sharp features and convert them into decimal degrees and plot them so however i'll finish it here you can add more points for uh, better accuracies now you can see that your image has sat on the area where it should be on the globe but however this is not the end if you close it 
here the image will go and fall back there you have to rectify your image just click on the rectify button you have your save as dialog option displayed resample type you can save by default consider it as a nearest neighbor and name can be kept as uh, Google Earth you can change the format you want I'll keep it as imagine you can keep it in any format and click save by clicking here your image will be saved in JPEG format in the updated image you can just disregard all these things and just go for the rectified image and that will be georeferenced you have just selected the image this is your rectified image in the IMG format and click it you can see that your image is georeferenced you can see here it is in the decibel degrees now your image is georeferenced and you can use it for any spatial studies this is about uh, downloading and rectifying the image from google earth thanks for watching